Yo, so it's been a while since uh, me and Claire made any videos on our little adventures. Uh, but today we are here at Half Moon Bay uh, near San Francisco. So it turns out the tide is too high so we can't really go check out any of the wildlife or any of the um, stuff that is at the marine reserve. So we kind of found this trail nearby and we're just gonna walk on the trail so I think it's the basically the Fitzgerald Marine Reserve Trail so I'm not sure where this goes hopefully it goes to somewhere nice with a beach or something so we're just gonna walk around this trail for a little bit and then after this we're gonna head to Half Moon Bay Pillar Point Harbor so this part of the Fitzgerald Trail reminds us reminds us of the Lover's Lane in San Francisco. It's similar, has a whole bunch of trees lining kind of like a path right here. So if you you've ever been to Lover's Lane in San Francisco, this kind of looks like it. It's very beautiful right now. So we're gonna walk over this way and yeah so there's a whole bunch of trees and stuff lining this walkway. Yeah, so you can kind of see a better view here of how it looks like Lover's Lane in San Francisco. So there's all these trees and the sunlight is filtered through. There's also this downed tree here that's in the way of the, the path and it makes it very dramatic. So Claire likes to look at all the clovers to try to find her legendary four-leaf clover that she's never found yet. So. I found so here she is trying to look for her four-leaf clover again. She's only ever found like a three and a half leaf clover. She's never found a four-leaf one so, so I don't think I've ever seen one. Apparently there's supposed to be like one in 15,000 or something are four-leaf clovers. I don't know if that's like a scientifically verified fact but I think that's what I read on Wikipedia yeah so there were supposed to be some seals here but uh, I guess it's not the season or not the the month where the seals are coming to the beach to either mate or nurse their young so now we got to the beach from the trail so the tide is really high right now. As you can see, there's basically only like a little bit of beach that we can walk on. And uh, there's this nice fence here. You can see it's kind of like, it's human made fence. And it's, you know, it's kind of like a interesting design that I've never seen before. Yeah, it's very nice here. The, it's, there's not very many people right now. This is a Wednesday around like 11.30 in the morning. The beach is very beautiful. Yeah, so even though uh, we didn't get to see any wildlife or anything here, um, this whole area is still very beautiful. It's a nice place to walk around. Um, the temperature today is around 60 degrees, so it's like a perfect walking temperature. Um, so yeah, you can check out kind of like the trail and the scenery here. There's a lot of trees. Um, you can see, basically see the ocean from everywhere that you're walking, so it's a very nice place to just hang out for a few hours. Yeah, so I mean there's basically nobody here right now and it, it kind of makes you realize that you know how how many places in California and especially on the uh, you know the west coast uh, of California uh, that are so beautiful yet you know, there's basically nobody visiting so there's actually you know as we're driving here we pass by like so many different little places for people to walk and little beaches that are really beautiful but you know those weren't our those weren't our destinations so you know we kind of just skipped over them so there's definitely a lot of places to go and a lot of places to check out in California.
see if any of them are selling fresh crab. Oni. So we asked uh, somebody on one of the boats and they said that today is a little bit too windy for anybody to Fish. go fishing for crabs. So there's probably going to be no crabs today. It sucks for us. So we're probably going to try to go into some of the restaurants and see if there's any fresh crabs uh, for sale there. So none of the boats were selling fresh crabs, so we went to this restaurant nearby called Catch Joanne Restaurant. We're going to end up getting the Captain's Chopino, which has crab in it, and also some prawns, scallops, and clams. So that's our compensation for not <laughs> getting any fresh crab. So uh, Claire is super disappointed that we didn't get any crab from the boats. Wow, look at all that crab. Hmm? I think they gave us like uh, six shrimp and a whole bunch of crab meat and maybe six clams. And we got some uh, garlic bread with butter. It's pretty good. It's very light and uh, it's refreshing. So the uh, Captain's Chopino was pretty good. Um, it was kind of better than what we were expecting. At first when we ate it, the broth seemed kind of light and kind of like too thin. So, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, it would be kind of bland tasting, but the seafood, you know, the saltiness of the crab and then the saltiness of the other seafood kind of made up for the bland uh, type of broth. And actually the bland type of broth, um, you know, fit well into the food after we ate a couple of bites. So, yeah, I think it came out to be about uh, $27 per person. Uh, it's not that bad considering it's like half a crab, um, you know, plus the seafood and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, we're kind of a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to eat the fresh crab this year. Uh, we did come here last year and uh, there were f crabs last year. So, um, yeah, no crabs for us this year. Maybe we'll come back again, maybe in a few months or something. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>